Major Slack Attack. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more of the Skyrim Pure Khajiit build and the Zero Armor playthrough challenge on Legendary Difficulty. Here we are at Shriekwind Bastion. This is a gold mine of sneak power leveling, but we can make this a whole lot easier if we step up our ass kicking skills by going to town and taking care of some important business. Now, this is a detailed run, so follow my instructions closely, and you'll be right back here in about half an hour at the same spot at level four with a whole bunch of perks and goodies that will make your life a whole lot easier. Hands up those who want easier. Okay, let's get busy. Uh, first of all, let's check our sneak. Sneak is just short of 27. Stay in sneak mode, and you want to stick to the left side. We just want to discover Shriekwind Bastion. Stick to the left side. Go, go slow, slow. Just want to discover it. There we go, Shriekwind Bastion discovered. And sometimes if you push in a little bit, you I don't know why that is. You can level up sneak. Once you've done that, okay. We can just drop down here and head into town. Falkreath is just right down here to the southwest. Let's go there. Once you have discovered Falkreath, immediately go back to Pine Watch. You just want to discover it. Make it easy to get back there. At Pine Watch, check the time. It should be any time between 8 and 11 p.m. If it is, check around for some torch bugs and more importantly, some Luna Moths. There's a Luna Moth right there. Okay? Grab one of those. That's very important. The torch bugs aren't so important. It's more important they grab the Luna Moth. Okay, so everybody got two Luna Moth wings in their possession. Done and done. Next, let's go to the Guardian Stones. And let's take our, our cat for a little swim. Swim across the river. Even though they hate water. Discover a Nisa's cabin right here. We can come back here later for an archery skill book. And then push down towards Riverwood. But we're not going there right away. Let's just look around here to this little plateau. Search behind these trees for a dead deer right there. And in the carcass is always a flawless emerald. Grab that up. And into the water you go. Whee! Now let's take a little swim. Stick to the left side. Could do some salmon fishing, but right now, not right now, we'll do that later. Stick to the left side. We are here for one thing. And that is this Nern root right here. Got it? Okay, next, let's go to town. Since we're right here, why not? Discover it, make it easy to get back to. Okay, let's make this quick and painless. Alvor is our buddy. Hey, Alvor. Do you have any supplies I could take? Take everything he has on board. Hello. Check this out. What a find. Wow. Okay, I'm not going to keep that because um, it's it's completely random what he has. Alright, now. A dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it. Hadvar and I escaped together. What? The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Uh huh. Riverwood is defenseless. Okay. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. I can do that. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Great. Come How about you inside. be in my debt? Sigrid will get you something to eat. Right now, and we can just loot your place for a whole bunch of free stuff. Including these snowberries, Secret. some food Good on the company. table, chicken's egg, jump up here, grab this garlic, garlic, elves ear, elves ear, frost miriam, and one elves ear over so there, and the garlic you. there, and grab all these here, 
Sit down and I'll Let's get you go all that. Go downstairs. Grab some more goodies up here. And one final thing. Whoops, forgot the garlic. And one final thing. I don't know about the Iron dagger. That's very important. Alright. Hotkey your daggers. But don't equip them. We will stop the Helgen when we were attacked by a drag. Okay, now at this point you probably want to do a quick save just in case the next part doesn't work out. Let's go back to Guardian Stones. It's completely random. There may be an issue here where the wolves attack the guard at the Ember Shard Mine. Okay, so back to the Guardian Stones. And we're going to push northeast up the mountain here. Just go up the road. You see the mine icon on the compass. Go towards that. Stick to the right side. Stick to the high ground. We discovered Ember Shard Mine. Go into sneak mode. Drop down here. Okay. And if everything's good and that guard is there and there's no wolves around, go into walk mode and slowly sneak up on his ass. Once you get within pickpocket range, go out of walk mode, equip your daggers, and do a power attack. Both daggers, do a wielding power attack. That should level up your sneak a lot. And run away like a little girl. And you can take some wine to give yourself some stamina. Put away your daggers if you don't need them. Check your sneak. And we leveled up. If you need some health, get health. I'm telling you right now, the only thing we're going to invest in every time you level up is health. Okay? So just to make it easy. And. Sneak is up to 28, that's perfect. Let's just run away. That's all we want to do. Once we're in the clear, you can test that by seeing if you can wait. Let's go back to Falk Reef. This is where the big money is. In Falk Reef, it should be early morning. Let's go to the inn. Have a little nap. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I've got a clean mug around here somewhere. Talk to the innkeeper. Your, uh, I'd like to rent a room, please. It's yours, for it. I'll show you to your room. This is your room. Nice big double bed. Sleep till 7 in the morning. This is very important. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Okay, this is a real cheap ass inn. So there's no free breakfast. There's nothing to loot in here, unfortunately. This grave Outside you go. At 7 in the morning, Thaggir is going to be chopping wood. Talk to Thaggir. Unless you intend to bury someone, this isn't the place you're looking for. Okay, quiet everybody. I'm trying to focus here. You said something about a burial. Falkreath is known for its graveyard, traveler. We've buried more dead than you can imagine. I just finished giving my old war companion Barrett. Okay, you want to hustle it up here? Could you deliver the ashes That's to That's what I'm him, talking about. The priest of Arche. He'll know the right blessings to make for Barrett's soul. Okay, we can do that. We'd be honored. What do you say? Thank you. Atta boy. Okay. Pick up your <laughs> some fly I'm needed here and go around the back to um, Renil. The god of Tell him you have a delivery from Thaggir and he'll give you 250 Thank gold. You for bringing this to me. I'll make sure he gets his rights. And... Yeah. cha -ching. there we go. While we're here, go over to the entrance to the Hall of the Dead and avail yourself of the Shrine of Arcade. Let's give me an extra 25 health, which we desperately need. After you've done that, take this little path up here. Check your food supply. See that you got lots of cabbages, leeks, and potatoes. We're a little short in the cabbage department. Should be a card here. Just grab all these cabbages here. And we're good. Next, find Dengir's place. This will look for the tanning rack. And if it's after 8 in the morning, you should be able to enter no problem. Can I help you? Talk to Dengir. 
I was Jarl once, but I was encouraged to step down when I took sides with the Stormcloaks. It was an Imperial plot, I tell you. It was a conspiracy, I say. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Okay, you see, there's a plot against well, you. Not against me, against all of Falkyrie. Those Imperial bastards are spying on every one of us. Last night, I saw Lord the Blacksmith writing a letter. <laughs> Probably sending word to Solitude and General Tullius. Are you loyal to Skyrim? Yes, I am. Break into Lord's house and get that letter. Break and entry, eh? Okay, I can do that. All right, let's break into Lord's house. <laughs> let's break I into Lord's. What? The Empire has ears all over this. Town. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, keep it on the down low. Right. Yeah, okay, of course. Yeah. Okay, so out to go. Lord's place is just across the way there. It's a novice lock, so it should be pretty easy. Make sure you're hidden. Nice and hidden. Do a five point check, like one, two, three, four, and five, and you should find the place where you can break in. There we go, we got it right there. We're not gonna steal anything. This is gonna take the letter, because we don't want hired thugs on our butt yet. Okay, so just take the private letter, and that's it. That should be nice and safe, because it's quest related, and out you go. And while we're here, Lodge should be open for business now. There he is. Steel's good, but hmm. what if you got the first sale? And we can sell him um, the iron sword. We don't need both maces, but we need both daggers and this armor and this ingot. And while we're here, buy all the iron arrows that he has. All of them. Okay, there we go. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. Can't do. Back to Dengir's place. Can I help you? Dengir, here's Lod's letter. What's this? Some kind of code? Need as much iron ore as you can dig up. Well, he's not spying, but it's clear the Empire is making Lod smith up more swords and armor for them. Good work. Take this. And he gives you 250 gold. Cha ching! Awesome! Alright, now. My words. I'll be Jarl again someday. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, so now um, we have raised our disposition with Dengir, so everything in his place is free. Make sure you grab these three pine thrush eggs, very important. And let's grab all the stuff on the table, including the garlic, the chicken's eggs. And all the ingredients up here. Two pine thresh eggs there. And make sure you check these barrels. Say three Hail Marys and see if you can get some no, no tomatoes. Keep grabbing all the Nord meat that you come across. And once again, say three Hail Marys and no tomatoes. Okay. You can actually sleep, sleep here too, but that one will give you the rest of the bonus. Okay, so let's double check to make sure we got everything. Could grab some chump change here. But the money we're going to be making later on is going to put that to shame. So, out we go. Next, Great Pine Goods should now be open. Let's go there now. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Well, man, Ray Pine Goods, what have you got for sale? Me, and sell them everything them else. Keep the hunting bow, keep the two daggers, keep the iron mace, and let's sell them all the apparel that we have, except the novice that we're going to be keeping that. And yeah, some people are going to be saying, why don't you keep this? Because it's completely random, and this wouldn't be very walkthroughy if I had this advantage and other people did not. So yeah, I'm just going to sell this for the money, even though that is a great find. And sell that, and the Garnet Ring, and the Magicka Potions, we don't need those, and don't really need the Stamina Potion either, or this Potion of Health. So just keep the Potions of Minor Healing and the Frostbite Venom, and any, like, food that cannot be used to make vegetable soup or beef stew. Don't need this. Keep the Nord meat for now. Sell the apples and the wine down here. 
Steal and we're good. Anything from Can I get you something? Take a look. Speaking of stealing, thanks for reminding me. Um, don't forget to buy some lock picks. He always has about seven or eight. Buy those. Okay. Be seeing you, stranger. Ta ta. Next, I hope everybody got that bottle of Blackbriar Mead in Helgen Keep. If you didn't, start over. <laughs> Sorry. No, I told you to pick it up. Okay, and we're going over here to the Jarl's Longhouse. Actually, before we do that, we leveled up. We have one point. Let's put it into alchemy. There you go, and get Alchemist Rank 1. Ta da! Go into Grave Concoctions, the local alchemy shop. Someone new? Perhaps someone looking Hit up the Alchemy Lab for them? and find the Pine Thrush egg that we got from Dengear's place and the Spider eggs that we got from Helgen Keep. Cook yourself up a lock picking potion. It's only going to be 11%, but it will help. We're going to be back here shortly, but for now, let's take our lock picking potion over to the Jarl's Longhouse, which is just across the street. In the Jarl's Longhouse. Let's go talk to the Jarl. Just for demonstrational purposes, let's just go in his bedroom and check out all the containers. Steel, 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 steel. Everything is marked as steel, 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 steel. But we can change that. All we have to do is give him a bottle of mead. Yes, what is it that you want? You're the Earl. I'm looking for work. Work? I demand tribute before you can be considered for any real tasks. How about drink? None of that local piss. Real Blackbriar mead, fresh from Riften. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay, whatever. Here's a breakfast of chimpanzees for you. Now that's what I like to see. Someone <laughs> who gets things done. There you go. Here, give him the bottle of Blackbriar mead. For you. And he'll give you three random potions. Hopefully they're potions of minor healing. Yay, they are. And that's it. So now we're friends with the Arl. Okay, we will. And now that we're friends with the Arl, all these containers can be looted. And they're no longer marked as steel. Once again, say three Hail Marys and hope you get some tomatoes. That's not the food container here. This one right here. This one you might get some raw beef. Or tomatoes. Not this time. And before you leave, do a quick save. Take your lock picking potion and pick this expert lock here. Okay, and this time we're gonna do a nine point check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right? Oh, here we go. Right around here. And this will level up lock picking. And you can also read this book on the right here and level up pickpocket. Leveling up here, boss. Don't steal it, just read it. And we're good. And you can loot all these containers for some fine clothes and stuff like that, but I, and I'm not going to bother. Let's just go across the way here. Get some free health potions here, which are going to be very useful to their minor stamina the potion. Always looking for strong. Get some gold. And we better start collecting some Nord meat just in case we don't get lucky enough to make some combat food. So there's some Nord meat there. More potions here. No tomatoes. No tomatoes. It doesn't look good. That's okay. Okay, once you've got that, go upstairs. Grab the Nord meat once again, just in case you don't find any ingredients to make some combat food. You can use these carrots to make some beef stew if you're lucky enough to find some raw beef. Tomatoes! Dang it. Okay, some more Nord mead there. I protect the Jarl, whoever that might be. Okay, step aside there, Helvard. Thank you. And that's it. Our business with the Jarl is concluded. Let's go make some potions. All right, the local apothecary is a real someone cheap. Someone new, perhaps someone looking. Don't let the shop's name insert. Away. I have plenty of reliable. 
tonics and healing potions to sell. Name for somebody is really cheap. So we're gonna have to buy some key ingredients off her, but they're gonna be really cheap. It's okay. Take a look. So she always has, always has six or seven death bell. Buy them all. They're real cheap. And buy the blister wort. And buy the giant's toe. She always has one or two giant's toe. Buy both of them if you can. If you only, she only has one, buy one. Scroll on down here. You're looking for rock warbler eggs. Buy all those. Buy any salt pile that she has. And any wheat that she has. Okay, once sold, those are all on board. Mm -hmm. Go around the back here, do a quick save before every major crafting session. Grab the alchemy lab before she does, and let's make some potions. Starting off with blue butterfly wing, blue mountain flower, and giant's toe. Make as many of those as you can. Next, death bell, garlic, and salt pile. Make as many of those as you can. And if you still weren't lucky enough to level up, which is highly unlikely, uh, make some Frost Miriam, Purple Mountain Flower, and Wheat. All right? Yeah, leveling up like crazy here, boss. All right, level up. Once again, points into health all the way down the line. Let's put another point into Alchemist. So now we have Alchemist rank two. At this point, we're going to make some combat potions. Do a quick save. Remember those Lunamoth wings that we picked up earlier? And... The Nurn root that we got at Pine Watch and the other Nurn root that we got on the way to Riverwood. Hook those two up and you're going to make yourself an invisibility potion that lasts for 25 seconds. And make a couple of those. Done and done. Hot key those invisibility potions. And now we're gonna sell off clothes, you damn fool. Take a look. To get our money back and then some. Make a big profit from the ingredients that we just bought. Let's start off with the fortify health potions. So a couple of those. And this should put you up to level four. Once she's out of money, mm -hmm. level up to level four. Points into health, and this time we're going to put the perk point into sneak. Definitely get stealth rank one. Okay, everybody on the same page. Very good. Okay, she's out of money, but we are in the money. 1500 gold, cha -ching. Okay, let's go across the way to Grey Pine Goods and sell off the rest of the potions. Let me know if you see anything you like. Well met, unlike my brother. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay, and we got a whole bunch of poisons to slow. Sell them as many as you can. That's all I can take. Steal anything from my shop and you'll regret it. Finally, if you weren't lucky enough to find any tomatoes or raw beef, which you can make some combat food with, and I wasn't, we're going to have to go back to Riverwood and check all the barrels. Barring that, we're going to have to use Nord meat to recover our stamina, which is the hard way. Okay, back to Riverwood. Check all the barrels. Bingo! Tomatoes! Excellent. Here's some more barrels you could check. More tomatoes. Yep. Yeah. Usually between all those barrels that we've checked so far, you're bound to run into some raw beef or some tomatoes. You can also go into the inn here and check these barrels right here to get some salt pile. Okay, so now... 
we can make some combat food. And by combat food, I mean food that will allow us to do perpetual power attacks. This is very important, because we have no armor. Of us has to do something. I said no. So hit up the no cooking pot. No theatrics, no thief chasing. And hopefully... Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's oh, I used it. up all my garlic. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. They're just Sorry, tracking me. To hear that. Um, no, it's not garlic. I didn't actually run into any raw beef. Okay, but that's okay because we can make vegetable soup. Okay, cabbage, potato, leeks, and tomatoes. And make as much as that as you can. And we now have combat food. Maybe you beef stew? Quiet, you. We're doing a walkthrough here. Beef stew or vegetable soup? Any food that restores your stamina one point per second for 720 seconds. There's three of them. There's vegetable soup, there's beef stew, and there's venison stew. All these foods will allow you to do perpetual power attacks for 12 minutes. 12 real-time minutes, right? Talk some sense so, into my once you've done know. that, Take and look. you got yourself some combat food, we can sell off all the rest of the food to make some room, so we don't need the wine anymore. Uh, keep that for some more combat food later on. Sell the leg of goat. And we can sell the Nord meat, we don't need that. Sell the apples and the sack of flour and the salmon meat. Oops, I sold the tomato by mistake. And there we go. Oh yeah, we can sell this too. And he should have some money left so we can sell him some potions. And everybody, after all that, should Damn be at least thieves. at level 4 with 2,000 gold. Alright, level 4, 2,000 gold. One point in stealth. We can now go back to Shriekwin Bastion. Let's get our stealth on. Hunker down. And this is going to be the subject of the next video. We are going to power level sneak all the way up to maybe uh, 43, 44. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of sneak leveling out of Shriekwind Bastion. That's coming up next video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Stuff like that there. And I'll see you next time for some more pure Kaji build zero armor playthrough on legendary difficulty. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.